Good morning, Heroic Fatherhood. This is Charlie King, funnily enough, with Heroic Fatherhood, back with another daily training. And today's training, we're going to be talking about positive affirmations. Are you bullish on them? Do you believe in them? Or are they just BS? See, here's the thing. I think that uh, positive affirmations have gotten a lot of traffic over time, especially in the last, say, decade. I think that there's a troop that, that believes heavily in positive affirmations and that that is the root of everything that 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 can happen in your life and it is the root cause of everything and then there's the other one that is like man that is some bs and that that just doesn't work anywhere <laughs> and like all things i think the truth lies somewhere somewhere in between so i want to talk about it a little bit um here's the thing is that that it's I think there's a guy thing about it too. Like if I think about it and I'm not intentional, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like a, yeah, you know, you can talk about positive affirmations, but that doesn't actually change anything in the world. It doesn't change anything to, 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 to say nice things to yourself. So let's talk about, first of all, what is a positive affirmation? A positive affirmation is speaking or thinking a positive outcome to some activity, event, or framework that you have in your life. Like I am a positive, you know, like I am, I have a healthy relationship with money or um, I am an intentional eater who is on their way to losing 30 pounds or, uh, you know, I am full of love and affection for my significant other, right? Like it's a positive affirmation, something that is outside of what your current experience is with the idea being that it draws you forward, draws you forward into that thing happening. And, um, and the, the studies are, are really pretty extraordinary about positive affirmations. There have been several studies on them, and they've dramatically shown that uh, blood pressure, stress levels, uh, and, you know, and, and all kinds of additional health benefits have come from the use of positive affirmations. Better sleep, better intentionality, better health overall, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that being said, there's still that piece about, like, well, all it is all it is, is thinking nice things in the moment that don't change anything. And there's a lot of controversy about it. And I don't want to get too much into sort of like the metaphysical, like this is the way it shifts your, your energy moving forward, and it does. Um, or that it actually does create things in the world, because it actually does. But what I do want to talk about is that there's this, the, the reality and the super positive benefit of it is what lies in between. Right, somewhere between there's these these like it's just you know like it it's just good thinking and it doesn't change anything or but the but the good thinking is everything, <laughs> right? So here's the thing, here's the beauty of it is that it lies somewhere in between because what happens is when you start to use positive affirmations, it aligns your focus, your thinking on the thing that you want to do better in. Right, let's say money management. Let's let's take that as an example. So we're gonna take money management as an example. It's like I have a positive relationship with money management. I manage my money well. Well, it's often that you're gonna be using this positive affirmation because your experience is, is that you don't manage money well or you don't have a positive relationship with money. That being said, it focuses your attention on the gap between where it has been and where you wanna go. So where the beauty of positive affirmations is, the beauty of positive affirmations is it aligns our thinking and can be the conduit for next actions to take, right? Like asking the question, you know, taking the moment is like, I have everything I need in this moment and um, I want to have this positive relationship with money. Great. So if I'm going to have a great positive relationship with money, what is it that somebody who has a great relationship with money takes as a next action? Oh, well, forever I haven't done a budget. Okay, well, if I haven't done a budget and that's not a positive relationship with money and I know that I'm supposed to do one and I'm somebody who's going to have a good relationship with money, then the next action to take is to make a budget. So what it does is it aligns our thinking so that we can make new choices. Now, there are super positive benefits and I have used them before I go do speaking gigs, before I lead a program, when I'm feeling some stress, I'll use positive affirmations that don't change anything in the world, but they do make me feel better in the moment. And those can have real benefit in that, that, that momentary stress piece, but how it changes your actions over time 
is the key. Aligning your thoughts and actions is what affirmations are so unbelievably good at. That we can align, like if I'm going to be somebody who is in alignment right, with my health and well-being, you know, if that's, you know, like I have this vision for that. So what would somebody, what would somebody who does that do that I'm not doing right now? Well, they'd probably go to, they'd probably get, go to the gym three days a week. Okay, so now I know what my next action is, is how do I get myself to the gym three days a week? It can be this great sort of instigator, right? This great instigator for, for brainstorming actions. And even if you don't know what the actions are, you can say, you know, like, I don't know what somebody who would have a healthier lifestyle do. Well, maybe I should find somebody who does have a healthier lifestyle and ask for help. Or I should, you know, maybe talk to somebody who knows more about nutrition than I do or knows more about exercise than I do. So it's an impetus, it's a stimulus for action. That being said, um, for me personally, I can absolutely share with you the power of positive affirmations when I'm under a lot of stress, right? And here's one that I use and I'm gonna just demonstrate it for you. So I usually close my eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths. And I tell myself, I have everything I need in this moment. There's nothing broken. There's nothing broken. There's no, nothing wrong. And nothing needs fixing. I have everything I need to get anything I want. I don't need to worry about how tomorrow shows up because it's not here yet. Right now I get to just enjoy the fact that everything is okay just the way it is. And it dramatically shifts the way I experience myself. It dramatically shifts the choices I make it dramatically shifts who I am in the world. It lets go of worrying about tomorrow so I can focus on today. So affirmations, are you a believer or are they BS? The truth always lies somewhere in between. If all we do is use affirmations to make ourselves feel better, but never use them as an impetus for new actions, then they'll make us feel better in the moment, but they won't change the root causes of what's in the way, what's in the way of us living the life we want. But sometimes they're really powerful when all there is to do is to just ease ourselves into what's next and give ourselves a break. That's all I have for you today. This has been Charlie King with Heroic Fatherhood. I hope you guys have a great day. Check in with you soon.